is it in your food? And then I got her to eat it. And then I got some on my finger. And I put it on my eye. And then my eye got poisoned. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Share My Story. It's been a long while. We haven't reacted to one of these in a fat minute. I hid under my friend's bed. My mom's new husband had a gorgeous daughter named Elaine. I met her at the wedding and said, Hey, I'm Joe, your new stepbrother. Oh, God. Just stay away from me, you creep. Huh, I guess she didn't hang out with nerds like me. Granted, she looked like a goddess while I was just an average dude. But then we had a dinner night in our backyard. I served noodles and accidentally spilled some on Elaine. You creep! You did this on purpose! You enjoy harassing me, don't you? No, I'm sorry. It was a mistake. <sighs> Dad, then give me $200 so I can buy myself a new dress because this one is ruined! We're in the middle of a nice dinner. Let's talk about it later. No! Give me the money now! Well, th this is just... Has anyone ever slapped this girl at, at, at all? I mean, I'm not I'm not saying that we, we need to hurt... I, I hate to say it, but you can't force your parent to give you $200 for a dress. Get a job if you want a new dress. Elaine didn't make a great impression on me. However, I was still shocked when I caught her openly threatening my mom. Oh, now she's crossing the line. You don't even have a job. Sure I do. I just took some time off from work because I'm pregnant. Are you kidding me? You're such a freeloader. But let's get real here. I mean, pregnancy, really? You think that's the hardest thing people have ever had to go through? I mean, come on. Say what you want. I take good care of the household. Elaine stepped close to my mom, put her hands on her belly, and said, Then let's hope nothing bad happens to the baby. I... This, like, are, are you insinuating, like, are you trying to openly insinuate that you're going to murder your future half-sibling? Are, are you that stupid? I had enough and pushed her away. Don't touch my mom. Oh, don't worry. Soon it will all be over anyway. I wasn't sure what Elaine meant. Was she seriously threatening to hurt my mom's baby? If so, they should have put her in a psychiatric institution right then and there. I agree. I agree. That is the one time that I actually agree with something that is said on Share My Story. Well, the next day, I caught Elaine opening the door for some sketchy looking guy. Follow me upstairs. I had to know what was going on. So Ooh, they're going to get the freaky fellatio the thing back. on. They came Ooh. inside and Elaine locked the door. Show it to me. Okay, but watch yourself. This is some hard stuff. One of these oh, pills shit. can kill more than a dozen grown men. Good. What about my payment? <laughs> what the f Good. <laughs> God damn. That, that's good right there. Thank you for getting me the good shit there, boy. Don't worry. Elaine gave the guy some money and also a long kiss. I think Come they on, wanted touch, to take touch this boom. further, but Elaine said... Did you hear that? Crap! My dad's home. Go oh, out the window. Oh, dad came home. It was all Hurry, out so the window. Sketchy. Out the window. But, uh, <laughs> Since that's the only way out. <laughs> just, just hide in the closet or something. I don't know. Elaine finally left her room, and I was able to crawl out from under her bed. Unfortunately, that's when my stepdad came into the room. What are you creep doing under Elaine's bed? Um, okay, you won't believe me, but I think Elaine wants to poison my mom. That's why I had to eavesdrop on her. Of course, he didn't believe me. He wanted to know how long I'd been hiding under my stepsister's bed, and for what reason. It ew, ew, look at his face. Ew, what the hell happened to him? <laughs> if someone's face looks like that whenever they get pissed off, I would be frightened. <laughs> really sucked. Suddenly, everyone in my family thought I was a creep and that they had to protect Elaine from me. Elaine, of course, exploited that. The of course week, she did. She claimed I had woken her up in the middle of the night and asked her to kiss me. And because I'd been caught creeping around before, everyone believed her. She took things even further when she said, Some of my clothes are missing. I think Joe stole them. No, I didn't. But that would be weird and gross. Of course, my stepdad found Elaine's dress under my pillow. Oh, okay, I've never seen anyone this, with this kind of obsession. Why would you steal their clothes? Especially a dress. Like, I, I guess 
I guess people want to like steal the panties and be like, oh yeah, I got panties, like what they did with Belle Delphine and their bathwater. It's still weird to me. I don't understand. What is the point in taking someone's clothes? Yeah, maybe you can smell their thing on there, but also you can smell their <laughs> on there. Why the f would you want to frame that? No, absolutely not. Keep your undergarments to yourself. She put it there. I would never do that. But of course, no one believed me. Elaine decided to cook a veggie bowl for my mom. It was so suspicious because she normally never did any housework. No, mom, you can't eat that. No, mom, you can't eat that. How dare you? You tried to poison my mother, you bitch. It's okay. I'm not the best cook anyway. Don't be modest. It looks delicious. No! Let I'm sorry, but even animated, it looks like shit. Let her eat it first. Show me it's safe to eat. But I'm not Yeah, hungry. show him. I made her try it anyway. Do it! And forced it in her mouth. Yeah. Elaine <laughs> spit the food out, saying... <laughs> while her... <laughs> she spit the food out, saying... <laughs> Quit deep-throating the goddamn microphone and just talking... Tell the goddamn story! Her dad screamed. Get away from my daughter, you scumbag! I was oh, grounded shit. for life. And Elaine disappeared. <laughs> I was grounded night, for life. Oh god damn. Rub the poison off her teeth and mouth. The next morning, she still woke up sweating like a pig, and my mom said, "She must have gotten the flu. That poor thing." No, mom. Can't you remember? She poisoned. No, mom. Can't you remember? She put the poison in your food, and then I got her to eat it. And then I got some on my finger, and I put it on my eye, and then my eye got poisoned. Anyway, a few months later, my baby sister was born, and she was so freaking cute. Only Elaine hated her to death. Look at that dis- Are, are you even allowed to be around your baby si sister? Are you going to be allowed to do that? You're already creeping around on your stepsister. Are you going to end up being allowed to be around your baby sister? I don't know, because everything... Nobody gives a goddamn about what anyone else has to say. They just listen to whatever... Elaine was appointed babysitter. To protect my newborn sister from her, I planted a camera in Elaine's room so I could monitor her. And uh, make oh, sure yeah, and, and then he does this shit. Okay, so this dude decided because he didn't trust his stepsister. Of course, like, no, nobody should trust. What he decided to do to make sure that she wasn't trying to do something to get rid of the baby because of all this other bullshit and yada, 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 and cry, cry, cry. And he decided to plant a camera in her room, and that's where the girl sleeps, and that's where the girl gets naked. And that's where the girl does other things that this dude should not be seeing. So, you might be very scared, and you might want to find the truth on some stuff. But that is pretty weird. You shouldn't watch your stepsister get naked, buddy. I, I have a feeling I know how this is going to play out. Unfortunately, she somehow noticed the camera. And when our parents came home, she said, Joe is a monster! Look what I found in my room! He must have been surveilling me for weeks! Sure enough, my stepdad went to my room and found the video I had recorded of Elaine's room on my laptop. And why would you keep it on your laptop? Oh my god! You are not helping yourself. I I, I can't even help you at this point. I can't even help him. I, I, I can't even help him. They threw me out the same night, and for months I slept on friends' couches. Life was rough. But then, my mom texted me because my baby sister was in the hospital. <gasps> oh, she made it to the hospital? There, the doctor explained, she ate something bad, but she will survive. Oh, thank God. But mom, it was Elaine. She poisoned her. You have to move far away from her. Oh, stop it. You've caused enough damage to this family. Seriously? Seriously? This is your son. He's not even doing anything. You won't listen to what he has to say, you crazy woman. Just screw everything that happened. You gave birth to this child, and you're just like, nope, I'm done. I'm done. You're, you're disowned, emancipated. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, I guess there's nothing left I can do. Elaine has outplayed me, and I honestly doubt my baby sister will survive into adulthood with Elaine around. But I guess that's just life. I, and I think that's what really drew me into this story was that last phrase right there. I guess that's just life. What are you talking about? What have we learned from this today, guys? But what have we learned? I'm, I'm expecting answers at the end of today's lesson. Instead of, you know, calling authorities or, you know, like talking to someone who actually has common sense because apparently your mom and your stepdad don't have it. 
I guess that's just life. Poor baby. You, you know what? You know what? Just take the baby away and burn the rest of them. That, that, that's fine. <laughs>